Welcome back guys to this PowerShell just scripts over the years type of video series. So this is video number six and we're going to continue on with Git Master Report. Well, let's see, it doesn't ring a bell, but we're going to take a look anyway. I think I was just learning something. Here's some HTML output and just maybe learning the for each and tries. I don't know, maybe some error handling. Next, we have Git Oddball four digit extensions. All right, so I kind of remember this one. Maybe there was a problem or we were looking for some oddball four digit file extensions. And that's another point. When you're writing your scripts, it's a good practice to, to name them with the, the verb and noun format that Microsoft has uh, implemented. Git dash something, and it, it should make sense. You've seen, as I've been going through these videos, I don't remember some of these. I, I didn't name them properly. For instance, this one, Git oddball four digit extension. I know what that is. Here I'm excluding well-known ones and let's see as i slowly scroll to the right here here's the rest of it so basically i'm saying show me anything that has dot and then these single digit um, wildcard ex letters excluding all these that are somewhat well known very handy at the time i think i used it once but it's there get old seven boxes so probably windows seven boxes i don't know why maybe when we're going through the windows 7 to windows 10 migration oh here's another point we used 80 groups to specify what model a computer belonged to it was handy because when you wanted to run a report on show me all the elite book 2730s you could run that real quick through some ad commands but at some point we stopped doing that next get rdp sessions we had three terminal server farms uh, one farm had six to eight servers. The other farm had five or something. Uh, just trying to look at what RDP sessions are there, et cetera. I think we're just trying to write some stuff. Typically, I didn't use this. Get to learning, probably just me learning some stuff. This looks similar to that HTML outputted stuff I mentioned earlier, maybe without the tries and stuff. So continuing on. Get TS sessions, probably the same exact thing as RDP sessions. You can look at that if you care. Get UAC status. UAC is definitely important in Microsoft land. And I think this was something I got online to look at maybe uh, computers. So, so servers to see what the UAC status was, or maybe client computers. I don't remember. I don't remember the scenario. If I dig deep in this memory bank, maybe I'll remember. Chances are unlikely. All right, get unused computers. Uh, probably another AD standard thing you can find. Show me all computers that have been inactive over a certain amount of time frame, a certain amount of days. Next, get XP remaining. So <laughs> the XP to Windows 7 migration, this was cool because this was back when it was fun. And I say that because <laughs> this was when we had some time to be able to do some fun, cool stuff. There was a TV on the wall in our uh, IT office and it wasn't really being used. So we said, all right, this XP to Windows 7 migration is very important. We need some sort of visual stats in our face all the time when the bosses walk in, when anybody walks in, they know that this is kind of a big deal for us. Of course, this is probably written horribly, but it, again, it did the job and outputted a bunch of HTML stuff. And then the TV would just display it all the time and it would keep updated as well. If anybody's interested in stuff like that, let me know. Hash example, probably more just learning hashes image convert probably got this online yep off github and uh probably need to bulk convert images i don't remember why maybe for the hr pictures all right we got a few more left new vpn connection at the time i was trying to write something that would help install a new vpn connection using that particular software it worked but uh I don't think we really used it. Process files, it's a batch script that has to do with other stuff. And I think I already showed a version of that. Purge old folders and files. Again, very handy, very, very useful. You need to purge old logs, old backups, etc. Rerun MECM deployment. I could probably do a whole video series on MECM, which is also known as SCCM. This particular script, and I can go into details about this too, but See, when you're, when you're running MECM and you're trying to deploy software, you'll soon realize that nothing's fast. You could push out a deployment one day and check the next day and it's still not there. And then you look for help and people are like, ah, just wait longer. Check this log, check that log. This, once you deploy something with certain scenarios, that deployment, even if it fails, that deployment will say successful or it would say it's complete. And so let's say it fails. You fixed what caused the failure. 
and then you're like, okay, is it going to redeploy? Is it, how do I redeploy it? You'll, you'll find some frustrating uh, times, but, but this helped just clean up what needed to be cleaned up to then be able to try to deploy it again. A couple style sheets for probably a couple of these reports that I was doing. Test 80 credentials was very, very handy, actually. I don't know if my buddy wrote it or if he got it online. Oh, he got it online. Basically, it's a way in PowerShell to test AD credentials, somebody else's or anybody's AD credentials, especially for help desk. Uh, you may want to just test it yourself real quick just to make sure the username and password are working. Uh, this, this can do that for you. And update password. So that one, I don't remember, probably just allows you to update a password with their password. I don't recall using that ever. It may have been part of automation for a web-based um, way that our end users could do it. So even though this is the last file in this folder, I have a ton of OneNote related notes. Um, especially as time went on, I started using OneNote a lot more and I started putting in there, well, here, this command's very helpful for this, this command's very helpful for that. If anybody's interested in that, let me know in the comments below because if so, if there's enough interest, I will throw some videos together for that. But uh, there's, I have a lot of stuff in there. But leave some comments below because uh, I, I wanna make sure that these videos are what you guys are wanting to see. All right guys, later.